How's it going everybody? Beautiful people of Instagram. Lizette and I are working today. Always. Always working. Hope everybody's doing great. Here, let me move this little camera to the side because I got to get some stuff out. Got some canvases. Yeah. Let's do this. I got some stuff that we need to. I just got some. Um, I just got some prints. Finally. <laughs> and now, sometimes they take a little longer to get here, but I got them. Check it out, guys. Those of you guys interested in canvas prints. Oh my God, those roses came out so beautiful. I'm gonna be offering them on Etsy because people get confused on my eBay shop. So I want to keep my eBay all original work hand painted work and I'm going to be offering my canvas prints on Etsy okay so those of you who are like dude I love what you're doing I got another one here too super cool let's see these are already some prints that people have ordered we gotta stretch them and I got a these are embellished actually yeah yeah these are hand embellished so I need to embellish them with my Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> My je ne sais quoi. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys a little later what that's like. So keeping it moving here. This is what a day looks like guys for working artists uh, and his beautiful wife. I need my yellow. Get it. Ruler. Get it. Here, I'm going to put this on the side right here for now. And then I gotta get. Check this out. Ooh la la. <laughs> Isn't that crying? Oh no, I thought I heard somebody knock. No. Sorry guys. So I like to brush them before I dust them off in case there's any dust. Lightly dust them. Hi Shanaz. Good afternoon, Razor Art Artwork. I hope everybody is doing awesome, fantastico. Do you guys have any questions or anything? How's it going, guys? Uh, we're gonna be uh, trying to to get back right now to you guys as you guys. Post your questions. So, I got some frames, okay? Some frames in for these commissions. Also, guys, uh, commissions are always accepted for those of you who are uh, interested in having a commission done by none other than moi. You guys want something special? Super special. Let me know. We usually have another table too, but but uh, I want to make sure that you guys see what I'm doing. That way, you guys have a little. You guys are in on the fun. Yeah, it's a little crowded on that one. You want me to move anything? No, it's all right. Open these frames. How's my hair? <laughs> yeah, looking good. These are some frames that I order. Uh, some artists like to make their own frames, guys. I don't recommend that unless that's like your spin. You want to do that? Cool. I don't recommend that because it's so much work. And you have to like really like be a carpenter. Like you can't like mess around with it. You know, you have to really know what you're doing. So it's such a waste of time, I think. Waste of energy. You could be painting or you could be trying to sell your work rather than, than uh, spending your time trying to make a frame. So what do you think about that? What do you think about, about, about 
uh, things that, that maybe sometimes people do, not just artists, but people do in general, that are like wasting your time uh, and you think you're being productive with them. Well, you're just slowing down your opportunity, right? Totally. Although there are some artists, but they don't make the frames themselves. They have carpenters that make frames for them. Yeah, they look and really nice. If you want to do that, that's beautiful. I think that's great. Yeah, we've we, that before. We have, we have a local framer that we work with that makes us really lovely frames. And so, I mean, that's always an option. But I agree with you. I think that if you're not focused on the thing that you do, yeah. then you're limiting your own potential and opportunities. Yeah, now here's the thing too. You could be very, uh, like, like, you just gotta find out what works. Like, you could be focused in the sense that, in the way that, that you're doing things that maybe you shouldn't be doing, you know? Maybe that's not being focused, but you could be like, oh no, like this really, this really matters for me. I, I have to do, I don't grind my own paint, you know, stuff like that. Like what curious do, curious, curious painters do. That's the thing that's awesome, you know, power to you. But if you're like, you gotta be, you gotta be realistic with yourself. Like if you're trying to get to, to, uh, create some uh, commercial work or whatever you're trying to get to market, however you want to see it. Well, and I think you're saying something really clear and perfect is that they have to have a clear vision of who, how they want their career and their, uh, like how they want their art, their career to go, right? Yeah. They have yeah. to have a super clear vision of yourself. And so if certain activities don't fall into that vision, then... You gotta move on, yeah, right? For sure. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. Here. It's gonna look really beautiful with the trees. It will, huh? I think so. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it's very easy to, to fall, uh, to lose your, your, what am I doing? It's very easy to lose your, your, your target. If you're not careful, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't, if you don't really, are, if you're not sure what you're about. And most of us are not, when we're beginning, so you don't feel bad about that. What I'm saying is like, as soon as you start figuring out what you're about, like remove the stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. There's a lot of stuff that we do that we're not supposed to be doing uh, if you're in business. If you're not in business and you're doing it like for fun, then don't listen to me by all means, you know, keep doing that. But if you're in business, you want to uh, make sure that you're being as productive as possible. Let's see. Ooh la la. Look at that. Like Cinderella's slipper, her shoe, what is it? Look at that. Her glass slipper. Oh, glass slipper, huh? You guys like that? Oh, that's beautiful. That looks pretty good, huh? Let me take a... Yeah, do a little snap on that. With my face here. Ooh. Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Ooh, boomerang. Oh, you, you did it too, so okay, ready? Okay. One, two. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I think right. we're gonna drive all of our people crazy no, over we're here. Not. <laughs> we're enjoying it. As we're having fun creating content, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's really the thing, you know? Like, figure out what you're about so that you are. Uh... Does it look cool? It looks super awesome. <laughs> The faster you figure out what you're about. What size is that one, baby? 24 by 30, I think. The, the painting is 24 by 30. Do you have the drill? I do. You are all second. So this ones are going to take this little babies back here. 
show you for those of you who are like, oh my God, please tell me, how is it? Check it out. This is for framers. I think the next step is that I want to have a framer. <laughs> I am your framer. What are you talking about? No, like, like someone's just framing. That's all I do. Well, yeah, but so that you can help me do some other stuff. Got it, got it. Yeah. I think that would be the... The next step up. I was gonna say, do you forget what I do in here? No, no, I'm like, I never do it in here. Come on, just saying that. You know. So, are you showing them how to frame, how to frame something? Process? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm just, I'm showing, I'm just showing them a little bit of what we're Is doing. A day in the life. Just day in the life. Day in the life of an awesome artist. <laughs> for this little bad boys. So this is what we do guys. Hopefully uh you guys are having fun too doing your thing. It's a lot of fun for us huh, honey. I have a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun for us. You gotta keep it. You gotta you gotta keep it principles. You can't. It, 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 it's serious, but it's not. You know. Like it's 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 not psychological serious. It's just it's physically serious. Um, yeah. It's like okay, you gotta do it, but you can't. Like. There's all there's all, all uh, sorts of things that we're doing today. We're doing this. I gotta get back to uh, creating some commissions. Well, we're in the middle of holidays, so shipping stuff out. Shipping stuff out. Whether we have uh, specific due dates to ensure that things get there on time. Yeah. Um. So it's an exciting time of year. We're we're this busy all the time, but. Because Christmas falls on a, like USPS or FedEx, they all have specific, like you have to have it out by the 19th in order to get it there by Christmas. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, <clears throat> as opposed to a normal time of year, it's a little bit more exciting, I think, yeah. in terms of seeing how, For how sure. quick you can work. <clears throat> Yeah, and also those of you guys who are uh, working on your jam too, like like getting your work out there, selling it, promoting yourself. Uh, don't forget, guys, that it's uh it's muscle first, okay? It's mindset, absolutely always mindset. But what I'm trying to say is, before strategy, it's muscle. We get we get lured very easily many times into into like what's your strategy? How do you do it? You know? What's the clever thing to do? And that's that's uh I feel like those are sirens, you know. They're just they're just noisy, they're sirens, they're not it's not the way things work, really. Look at this. Are we keeping this secure or what? Do I look like I know what I'm doing or what? Sure do. Saver, guys, this one for those of you who don't know, 
It'll save your fingers. I don't know if it'll save your fingers, but it'll help. If, if you're like, if you really never use it, it might not save your feet. <laughs> huh, baby? Yeah, I've pinched myself. <laughs> Remember when you bought me the mini drill because you were really worried about me using the regular size drill? Yeah. And then I was like, Yeah. I can do this. I had another person here working with us, and, and it was two girls. With my wife and this other this other lady and and I was always worried that they were gonna pinch their their, their beautiful nails their fingers and I was like, mm -mm, so I, I got them a little drill like something with almost no power right just enough <laughs> to I step up from a, from a from a handheld screwdriver needless to say it was not productive with time it took forever to drill something yeah and now I'm a drill expert. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. So I want to record my process guys so that when I'm ready to move into like a big studio and be one of those bad boy artists, you guys saw my, my humble beginnings. They saw you win? Huh? They saw you win? So that when I'm ready to move to like a big studio and be one Chaminan, of those... Chaminan, we actually do have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can look at Jose Trujillo and you can find over a thousand videos on YouTube. Yeah. We talk about different stuff in those videos. Some painting demos. This I'm putting a dust cover on this painting. I, I use glue because sometimes I just like using glue. Uh, double tape, double sided tape is very good and it's faster. Sometimes I worry a little bit depending on the brand. And the acid, about acid and well, yeah. on the tape? Yeah, acid and the tape, but it doesn't really. Or do you think about longevity? I'm thinking about longevity. And sometimes certain brands just, uh, they don't hold up. So last time I, I bought a brand that wasn't, that wasn't the brand that I normally like to use. And I felt worried. So I was like, you know what? I'm not, until I get the brand that I need, I'm going to use the old fashioned way. Some tight bond um, glue. And it takes longer, but it's more, it's, it's crafty, you know, it's arts and crafts. Some people are worried about like the wrinkles and whatnot on this stuff. Uh, you haven't done it if you're worried about it. Don't, don't worry about it. If you ever put a dust cover on a painting or whatever, uh, whether you're using glue or you're using acrylic, you can use acrylic paste. Um, what is it called? Uh, you can use acrylic paste uh, impasto, acrylic impasto. It's, it's used by artists all the time. I use it all the time. It's more expensive to use it for this stuff, but, but you can if you're worried about uh, acid and, and all of that stuff. If, if that's like really your worry, then you can use impasto paste. It, it, the wrinkles go away, guys. As, as it dries, it stretches like a drum. What you want to do is just make sure that it's tightly, tightly sealed, tightly bonded here. You know? I like using my hands. One, because I like, I like doing my work with my hands. I don't know why. It's a thing. It's, it's, I don't know. It's my, it's my jam. <laughs> I like using my hands. <laughs> How's it going from Germany? Germany, Germany, going back to Texas on Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's up, Stefan? Guys, this is how we do it here in the art studio. We try to make it, uh, check this one out. See what I mean? It, 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 it seals really nice. Ooh 
la la! Ain't that awesome? The, the trick that I found out, guys, for, for, for myself anyways, is you want to keep moving. Any moment you start stagnating, you start going like, oh, what, what should I do? I don't know what's the next step. You already lost the game right there. You want to keep moving. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to keep moving. You want to keep moving. You want to keep rolling. You want to keep creating artwork. Uh, whatever you need to do. It's, it's, it's not all creating artwork either, guys. Okay, that's another thing. Not all of it is creating artwork. Uh, we all wish, most artists wish that it was just that, but it's not. And the sooner you figure out that it's not just that, the sooner you're going to realize that, that, um, the sooner you're going to realize what you need to do. In terms of, of how to get your, your, your work marketed and sold and all that stuff. It, it's, not, it's not one thing or another. It's a, it's a multitude of things. This, I had a hard time understanding because I used to think that, that one day I was going to wake up and things were going to just make sense to me. And after reading a couple of books or a few books or whatever, I thought, you know, things are just going to make sense to me and I'm going to... Uh, I don't know. Get the hang of it, right? Just get the hang of it. And it never happened. More coffee for the production line. It's true, it's true. Thank you so much for reminding me of that, Shana. It's so true. Where's my coffee? Where is my coffee at? Oh, here it is. Oh, man. I was afraid I wasn't going to get my coffee on. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah! Mmm! I need my cofefe. Check this one out. Another commission. Let's go out. I think this is a commission, yeah. I think so. Has to go out. And then, I got some more frames over here. Uh, now they have to go out, you know, so. I gotta open this bad boys. Okay. I got it. Those little knives are like the coolest little thing. Little box cutters. But you gotta be careful with them because they're super they're super dangerous mundo. Do this. I want the strings out now. <laughs> I can't wait to be like one of those one of those, one of those bosses that it's like, I want the strings out now. <laughs> It'll be crazy working for me, watch. Anyone out there like ready to be like, dude, I want to work with Jose. It's gonna be crazy. There's gonna be coffee all the time. You're gonna get your coffee on with me. No breaks. No, I'm just <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> I'm gonna be pushing you all the time. I'll be I'm telling you, you can do more than that. <laughs> You're not doing enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be saying stuff like that. Like your potential is more. You have more potential than that. Something like that. Alright. I'm going to open this up right here. Yeah. 
You guys are like watching me battle. The battle of the ages here. Opening a box of frames. Yeah, there we go. I told you I was going to win. Man, they, these guys... These guys steal this up like... But they don't want me to... You want me to open it? There we go. Yeah, this stuff is like it's like seriously sealed. It's not it's not even like somewhat sealed. It's like we're gonna make sure that you really want it. <laughs> we're gonna make sure that you really want it. If you don't really want it, you're not gonna open it. It's making me sweat now. But Feel like Nacho Libre fighting here. All right. Yeah. I got you now, huh? You know I do. Watch this. Oh, and I don't save the boxes, guys, because and I don't I have my own custom-made boxes. Finally, I'm gonna watch it be something else. Un, dos, tres, toca la pared. It's like I'm almost there. So, yeah, guys. Thanks so much for watching my humble beginnings here. My humble beginnings. It's going to be so much fun watching the process. Those of you who are like, dude, I want to I wanna do my jam. Now you guys know. You guys can see what's going on. You're working for yourself. Get for what you wish for. <laughs> Get for what you wish for. <laughs> no, I'm being honest with that one. <laughs> You know, many people want want to do their own thing, and I think that's super awesome. Uh, if I was probably if I was starting again as an artist, I I, I well, the very first thing that I would do is go work in a studio. I don't know why artists don't think about that. Um, it, it's I didn't think about that. I mean, I thought about it, but but I never pursued it. Uh, and many people. Talk me out of it. <sighs> Finally. Maybe people talk me out of it. They're like, dude, no. Don't. Yeah, I feel like I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, don't work for someone else. Do your own thing. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, no. Like, like, <laughs> like dude. Dudes and dudettes. It's very smart. It would be very smart. Of oh, someone out there listening to me in your city, wherever you are, go find out if you're serious. If you're not serious, like don't do it, right? Like don't don't waste your time or someone else's. But if you're serious about learning your jam and how to work a studio and how to be productive and how to be most important, um, how to generate income, uh, go work for someone. Go work for someone, and if you can. But don't work for just any, any 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 artist. Like go work for an artist that you know they're getting product out. They're pushing product out. Go work for an artist. Maybe not. It's not gonna be. Maybe it's not gonna be a painter. Not not. There's not that many painters that that do uh, this job for a living, and there's not that many that do it at a commercial level. Where they're where they're actually pushing product out. Many many. Many of the artists are doing something. They're usually generating some income, but not necessarily not necessarily full time. And and maybe it's full time, but it's like they they sell like one piece at a time here and there. They sell it kind of expensive, but at the end of the day, I tried that route. It didn't work for me. I didn't like it. it I, I didn't feel like it was a viable business for me. Uh, you know, because because I would I would sell something for like five k, whatever my price points were at the at the time, and then I didn't see five k for another three months. You know, or another two months or whatever. Like I had to have a lot of 
uh, notori notoriety <laughs> to be able to sell that, you know, constantly, maybe two, three times a month. What, what I really want, a viable business, something that works, right? Not, not every now and then. And so those of you, here's a, here's a real tip, okay, for, for, for being sports and, and, and watching me open this frame. <laughs> Go find out who's doing pottery. But the, they have something solid, like, like, like their ish is tight, you know, something, something that someone is actually getting out into the marketplace and selling, you know, that stuff is coming out all the time. Go, go to them. And, and work for them. And most people like that, they're not hiring because they're afraid. Because they think of industry secrets. It's, it's stupid. It's not true. It's work. But they're, they're, they're thinking in the old thinking patterns of their mommies and daddies. And I did that too. For the longest time, I didn't get help because of that. Because I go, oh no, these are industry secrets. You know, <laughs> it's stupid. No, it's just, I, you don't realize that you're just working hard. That's all. And things are working for you because you're working hard. It's not. It's like you're. You know, some scheme that someone else doesn't know. It's just. It's just hard work. So that's what I would recommend. Go work for someone. Uh, I would even do it for free. I know it sounds like no. I would never do that. I. You're gonna go learn, not the schemes and strategies because that's stupid. That's not really what you're there for. What you're gonna learn is you're gonna learn what it takes. And how and how much effort and 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 all like like the real rules of of the thing. That's what I would do if I was starting over. You know, if I didn't know, not if I was starting over, but if I had this knowledge that I have today, I'd go work for someone who's already uh, producing and is creating success for themselves. And I would do it for free. I would, I'd be like, you don't have to work all week for them. I'd, I'd be like two, three times a week, maybe, maybe the weekends. I don't know. What do you think, honey? Yeah, honey, I'm sorry. I'm, I have to find a painting. Oh, okay. So that, that's what I would do. A lot of people don't want to do, see what you want is the opportunity. A lot of people want the cash right away. Like, but what you want is the opportunity. And in a case like this, because these this jobs are so rare, where, where someone who, has, who does pottery is actually generating income and moving, moving product. Someone who does photography. Photographers are, a lot of photographers are very smart. They're always generating income and they get to be artistic too. Uh, not necessarily artistic photographers. They're artistic. They, they're ones usually generating more income than, uh, than, than, than the others. Our uh, portrait, wedding photographers, family photography. And it sounds like, oh, that's lame. It's not lame, dude. It's their business, you know? And they're, they're those people, the ones I've known, they, they, they know how to generate income. They know what it takes to, to work. They don't just show up when they feel like it. They can, right? Because it's a business. So I'd go work for someone like that. But someone who's doing something artistic, that way you can find out what it actually takes. And I'm only saying this, uh, I, I, I'm trying to be like, what, what would have worked for me if I would, knowing what I know today, and, and just, you know, starting, starting over, like I was a, a younger guy or whatever, you know, just, or my age, doesn't matter, but starting, right, older, whatever, I go work for someone for free all the weekends, do their social media, help them do whatever, but be in the environment. You don't want to work from home. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to work for someone from home. No. You want to be in the environment. You want to see how many times the FedEx uh, visit their home. <laughs> Shana says, makes a lot of sense. Totally. You want to see how many times FedEx visits their home? How many, how many times do they have to order materials? What is the... They're going to start sharing with you the cost of materials because it's inevit inevitable. You're going to be in the environment. So you want to, you want to be in the environment. That's what I would do. A lot of people that are like the new artists, they are the workers of like Chuck Close and, and Coons and all these big name guys. Uh, a lot of those guys, they're there and, and some of them don't realize that, I don't think. You want to be in the environment of a working artist. 
And it doesn't have to be your medium to get it. Look at that. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. I'm like, look at that. I, I, my work is so good that it even looks good upside down. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh, what's it, what's, what's it all about? You like Annie? It looks beautiful. Always. Always. Beautiful. Sorry that I had to go away. I was trying to find a painting. It's all right. I miss you. I, I started like telling, telling people that if I were to start out again, or had the opportunity not knowing what I know now, I would have, um, I would have done the same thing I'm doing. I'm just saying that a lot of people, do, a lot of people maybe need a, a little extra push. You know, what I would have done is go work for someone who's already creating uh, any level of success for themselves. Right. You know, a working artist. That way you can see, if you're in the environment, you'll know. You'll know like, oh, okay, that's what it's going to take. And it's going to start making sense to you. It's going to start making sense. You're going to start, you're going to start realizing uh, what it's going to take. It's going to start making sense. It's going to start adding up. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. For well, for right now. I'll see you guys later. Uh, Shadi says, that's great that you speak about materials and how you use them. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Take care. I will talk to you guys again. Uh, stay tuned. Adios. I love those hearts. Guys, give me those hearts before I leave. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.